Some might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner Or at least I used to be Cause now a wildfire is raging deep inside And my horn strings Hi everyone, I'm Marie from Southern Country Living And today I'm making a uh, cheesy broccoli and cauliflower soup and so these are some of the ingredients that i have in my pantry and so i'm going to use them today i've got some celery carrots onion cauliflower broccoli florets and velveta cheese and if you have fresh ingredients go ahead and use them them if you uh, want to but this right here was what I had today that I wanted to use up so this is what I'm going to be using today to make my soup and I hope everyone is having a great day today and today it's a little overcast here it looks uh, fallish outside all the leaves are out in my backyard they're all brown and fell to the ground but it's still warm here but anyway I'm going to make this soup today and uh, I think me and Kevin's going to enjoy it for supper today because we like to eat soup even when it's warm outside. <laughs> so um, let me get started on this recipe and then I'll be back with y'all in a little while. Like the tide And the match that drew a spark Was a single stolen key These high walls I've been surrounded Walls to her eyes only paper thin Cause now a wildfire is raging deep inside Okay, I'm gonna saute my vegetables for about 10 minutes So I'm gonna put in about two cups of carrots into three tablespoons of olive oil. I'm going to put in my onion. This is a whole onion. And the next thing I'm putting in is celery. This is about a cup and a half of celery. I'm going to saute these for 10 minutes. This starts off similar to the butter bean soup that I made last week. Okay. And when these get sauteed, I'll be back. Okay, my vegetables have been sauteing for 10 minutes. And boy, do they smell good. Okay, now then I'm going to put in one fourth cup of flour. Stir this all in. Good and coated now. So now then I'm going to put in my uh, chicken broth.
and I'm going to add one teaspoon of kosher salt. I put in my kosher salt and so I'm going to let this uh, come up to a boil and I'm going to let it simmer for 20 minutes with the lid on. Okay, my vegetables have been simmering for 20 minutes. Mmm, look at that steam. Mmm, <laughs> they smell really good. And uh, now I'm going to be adding my uh, broccoli and cauliflower. And it was frozen and I let it unthaw. So I'm putting it in my soup. Hopefully I don't get a soup bath. <laughs> okay, there we go. I'm stir this up. And I'm going to cook these for about 12 minutes. And then I'm going to come back and add, add my Velveeta cheese. Marie, that sure is looking good. Yeah, I'm it is. I'm looking forward to a nice bowl of that. Me too, Calvin. I will have good soup. Okay, my vegetables have been cooking for um, 12 minutes. So now I'm going to... Uh, do my last step, which is add in my cheese. And just let it melt. Okay, I'm going to turn off my uh, stove. And this really smells great and it. it's got really good color. You can add your add more vegetables to this soup or whatever um, you like, but this is how me and Calvin likes it. I think my cheese is melted now, so I'm going to uh, fix me and Calvin a bowl of this good healthy soup. Okay. My soup is done now, and so it's time to do the taste test. Now I've already got Calvin's cornbread muffin uh, crumbled up in his bowl. That's why he likes to eat his soup. <laughs> and I like to eat mine on the side. I like to just kind of dip mine in. <laughs> okay. Mm, smells good, Calvin. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Mm, it's got such a pretty color to it. That's um, Calvin's bow, so now I'm going to fix mine, and I'm going to have to wait probably about 10 minutes before I come back and do the taste test. Or five at the most. <laughs> Y'all, this soup looks very delicious, and so we'll be back in just a few minutes to do the taste test. Okay, y'all, we're back to do the taste test. So here I go. Hope I don't burn my tongue. <laughs> mm. That's delicious. That good? <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, let me get a bite. I love these vegetables, Marie. Very good. Get some cornbread in it. I can't think of anything that I might want to add to it, but maybe just a little bit of um, garlic, maybe. Garlic would have been a good idea for it. Yeah, but, I forgot but, the garlic. <laughs> but I like it just like it is. Yeah, it's good this way. 
this is a very good healthy soup and uh, looks like I'm starting to need some of that healthy soup. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can come up with another recipe for some more good healthy soup next week, Marie. I'll try my best. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is good. I'll definitely give this five stars. It's really good and delicious. Me too. And, uh, and you've made soup very similar to this before. Yeah. And uh, I like this one just a little bit better. I so do too. Very good. If you want to try, you'll enjoy this soup, and it is a good, healthy soup. Yeah. So y'all do what you love and love what you do, and we'll see y'all in the next video. And y'all have a good day. Bye. Places in